with that being said, you guys can jump on your bikes and we'll have you check out all your um, controls. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. That's the first thing you need to do is just ask us, you know, about the uh, instruments, you know, controls, how things work, because there is no dumb questions. We need to uh, we need to help you out with that. It's not a problem. So. All right. So, uh, hello everyone. It's Adam here. It's the uh, 690 Enduro KTM. In the on position, I think. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Here we go. Yeah, I like that you can move all the way up. Yeah, the, the, the fairing is just snapped in. All right. And this thing's already starting to, um, <laughs> this thing's already starting to hurt my butt. <laughs> Definitely want to get the comfort seat on this thing. First gear, second gear, okay, nice. And the gear indication is instant. Whereas the, um, <laughs> oh, the Acura sounds so nice. Whereas the uh, Super Tenere I just set on was not. All right. There we go. Oh, this is nice. So the bars are actually kind of forward. Man, this is crazy. You got your legs super tight. You can go back, you can go forward. Still in first gear. All right, shift in a second. Uh, really smooth uh, shifting system there. Gets a little bit whiny around 6,000 RPMs. No, I still got a six and my handlebars are shaking. Well, seven that got really pissed off at me. So uh, this is the 690 Abduro, not the Adventure. Uh, it's the bike that I actually would really love to have in my stable. Um, you know, obviously there's going to be lots of changes to make to it because it is a uh, KTM. If you're driving the KTM, you got to modify it. But uh, yeah, I love how I'm basically on top of. The front, the front of the frame here. I'm right on it. Looks like three. 2500. It wants to. It wants to be out of that gear. Oh, the sun just dives. The front suspension just. But you know, keep in mind this is the first time I've ridden a enduro style MX style bike before. Um, but I just love how the the, the forks just <laughs> they just dive down. Uh, I mean, the, the travel is is really long. This would be a ton of fun on. Um, I mean, I would, I would enjoy this on normal, just everyday commuting riding. Now this, uh, this is my fourth demo of the day. So the battery, the GoPro battery will probably end up dying. So 
So, just an FYI. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. Did not put my foot down. Yeah, it just wants to dive in. This is crazy. The uh, grips have kind of a ribbed catch back here, which is nice. I'm guessing if I get bunched up, I can just scoot back here. Which is nice. I can scoot back at the at the back of the, the tail and shift the weight really easily. Yeah, the front and rear brakes are not linked on here. The shifting, I mean, I just go through the, the, the gearbox really smoothly. Oh my God, I want one of these so badly. So badly. Oh my God, I want this thing. I mean, it bugs me that the, the front fender is constantly bouncing around. But the thing about these bikes is they're made to be completely, completely lightweight. So when you have, for these, a turn circle bouncing around, a fender bouncing around, the fairing is just kind of being clipped on. It's because, you know, nuts and bolts and extra rigidity, it means weight. And they want to make a bike that, you know, is, is lightweight. But this engine feels like it, it, it really has a lot of punch, a lot of low-end torque. Uh, the thumping that I found in the EXCF that I sat on temporarily is completely away, gone. Uh, I don't know why he just broke break there. Um, maybe he was telling me to get back. Uh, the, the thumping feeling on my crotch is completely eliminated. Uh, so we're in third now, 5,000 RPM. Feeling pretty good. Yeah, this is nice. God, I really want one of these. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess this thing is not under 10 grand. This thing is more like 14 grand. Oh my God. Yeah, the seat is hard as a rock. I'm sitting on a concrete block here. But it's addictive. Pegs are a little vibey, but it just wants to dive in. It wants to turn. It wants to be flunk, flicked around. Wow. I assume by now the GoPro remote uh, microphone or, or video has died. Uh, so if it does, just know that uh, I'm, I'm, I love this thing. If I had uh, the cash right now, I would grab one. It's that much fun. This should be... This should be a bike that everyone with a GS puts in their stable. Um, it is, it is amazing. I mean, it's a good, 
it's it's very uncomfortable yeah that that fork diving situation is really annoying uh, but again it's for off-roading so of course the the um, the forks are going to move a lot. It's just brilliant, man. I mean, it, it's it's not a dual sport. This is single purpose. Um, this is for get riding to the trail and then spinning all day on the trail. I would need a, uh, a Moscow Reckless set up behind me and I wouldn't do a tank bag, although I probably could. Probably a handlebar bag would be good. I'm not trying to be around his ass, but <laughs> come on, dude. six gears there are six gears oh wow so 55 miles an hour i'm at 4,000 rpm it thumps a little bit though it doesn't want to be there at this speed for accelerating that is nice Yeah, man. <laughs> I love it. I love this motorcycle. Oh. I need to sell my Golf R. Get a base GTI. <laughs> and, and get one of these. This is fucking brilliant. It must have ABS, but I don't think it has traction control. Well, that probably concludes this video. <laughs> it's more of the rock. That uh, probably concludes the video. I fucking love this thing, and uh, I wish I had one. <laughs> this is so much fun. Oh man, I could just be a total hooligan with this thing. That's the thing though, when someone sees a GS on a trail, um, they don't think you're just there to tear up their property and, and, and cause you know mischief and destroy their dirt. On one of these, they're gonna hear you coming, they're gonna show up, threaten to shoot you even though it's a public road for tearing up their trails, even if you don't intend to do that. Um, this is definitely that kind of bike. So, you know, it has a bad rep for kind of being a hooligan bike. Not as much as supermotos. We don't know what supermotos are, but they see a dual sport like this, they think you're just up to no, do burnouts. And um, this just feels like such a, a, a pleasant bike. It, it carves really well. It digs in. It doesn't break traction. Uh, not a crazy high revving engine, but I... I'm really in love. Okay, I'm ending the video here, guys. Thanks so much for watching. This is Adam Chandler on the uh, 690 Enduro from KTM. Thanks, KTM, for coming to Americade and uh, bringing us all these great bikes.